Hello, I'm Jill and I am living the midlife. In today's video, I'm going to show you easy to adapt design elements to make your home or your mother-in-law apartment more comfortable for aging adults. Now this is not a large bathroom, but we did make sure it could still accommodate a wheelchair if we ever needed to. My mother-in-law wanted a vanity where she could sit and get ready in the morning. Again, this is wide enough, it could accommodate a wheelchair. Fortunately, we don't need one yet, but it's good to be prepared. To keep things comfortable and easy to use, we installed D-shaped handles on the drawers and the cabinets. Those are just easier, again, for stiff fingers than little knobs. And by the way, links to all the products that I talk about are in the description below if you want to check them out. A single lever offers the most function with the least effort, so that's what we opted for for the sink. We made the lip of the shower as low as it could be to help avoid tripping while still containing the water. If you have space, you could create a zero entry shower. We have a grab bar here for support and what we love about it is how attractive it is. It blends right into the decor. We used a lever faucet here in the shower for easy maneuverability. One thing we will be adding is a handheld shower rather than this fixed shower head. We'll definitely be switching that out as my mother-in-law ages. I'll put a link in the description below to the handheld shower head that matches all these other fixtures. And then check this out. This is one of my favorite things. This shower seat. Isn't it beautiful? So much better than those white plastic ones that make you feel like you're in a hospital. This one's like you're in a spa. If you're getting value out of this video, I hope you'll hit the like button. We made sure the toilet was a comfortable height and not too low. My mother-in-law is not tall anyway. However, you could install a taller toilet, which would help if your aging adult has trouble getting up from a seated position. You could also install another grab bar near the toilet. These mats help prevent slippage in case the floor is wet, and they do have a rubber backing so they don't slip around. That's important. Well, as you can see, she's got a small bathroom, so that pretty much wraps up our tour. But I hope that seeing some of the adjustments we made for our aging adult are helpful to you. In fact, I'd love to know if any of the things that we did for my mother-in-law would be helpful for you to implement for your aging adult as well. Put your answer in the comments below. And if you have any other things that you have done to accommodate aging in place, senior living, an aging parent living at your house, or ideas that you've heard from others, please feel free to share them. We all benefit when we share our ideas. If you got value out of this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button, and feel free to subscribe to my channel, Living the Midlife, if you're interested in more videos about dealing with aging parents, life in your 50s and beyond, and being empty nesters. Don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you can get alerted next time I post a video like this one. Bye-bye.